Hey everyone, Wiggles here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can refund an Xbox game for your Xbox account. All right, let's just jump right into it. So the best way to do this is by doing this on your computer or your phone. Go to the support.xbox.com URL. And once you go there, go to the top right of the screen and go to sign in. Sign into the proper account that's attached to your Xbox account. And if you need to find that out, you can go into your Xbox and go to your settings and then your account details and you'll find your email in there. And once you're in here, scroll down a bit till you get to the subscriptions and billing section. Click on that and then here you can see billing payments and updates. So open up that drop down and then click on request a refund for digital games. Here's where you hit with their policy, but I'll explain it just a little bit more just so you know. So to get a refund through the Xbox store, it has to be either a digital game, an accidental purchase, a faulty or unplayable game, an unauthorized purchase, so like your kid bought it or something like that, and you're able to refund a subscription if you haven't used the service since the renewal. Partial refunds may apply for a subscription in some cases. If it's a pre-order, you're able to cancel before the game comes out. And if it was charged within 10 days of that game's release, then it's still eligible for a refund. So refunds are almost never granted after this 14 day mark. And if you've played more than two hours on it, then Microsoft will usually deny it, unless there's a really serious issue. You're not able to get refunds for in-game purchases. So like things like skins, loot boxes, battle passes, and even some DLC. They're non refundable refundable once used. You're also not able to get a refund on gifted games, but the sender is able to request a refund if the game hasn't been redeemed. And then lastly, banned or restricted accounts aren't able to get refunds too. There is a note here saying that you're able to get a refund within 30 days if you're unsatisfied with the license agreement or the warranty. So there is that too. But in most cases, the 14 day mark is a clear cutoff. So when you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see all the games that you're eligible to refund. And then there's this tab for the refund status. So these two games are refunds I've gone in the past, but let's refund a game. So back at this request availability section, select the game you want to refund and go request a refund. From here, you have to select a reason. And in my case, the co-op doesn't work like intended. I never even played this game, so I'm just gonna refund it for that. You can explain what happened exactly. In my case, it just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna do it for missing content, but things like gameplay issue or accidental purchase, they can't really go against. So if you want a for sure answer that you'll get it back, you can always just say something like that. And once you got your request, just click next and then submit. So they say they'll get back to you within 72 hours, but I've had many of my requests finished within the day or within 48 hours. So it can be way quicker than you expect, but I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like so we can share it across YouTube and please subscribe to my channel to see more great tutorials just like this. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers.